Hello, thanks for joining us virtually here in the beautiful Goldie Chapel at Nananagle Place. Uh, I'm Katrina O'Mahony, I'm the Artistic Director of the East Cork Early Music Festival and we have had a wonderful few years of partnership with Nananagle Place since they opened. So we are very, very happy to be here today celebrating an anniversary that's happening this year. It's 250 years since our beautiful convent building here at Nananagle Place was built was built back in the year 1771. So to celebrate that, we're bringing you a program today of music uh, around pieces from 1771. So they're from a composer who you may be a little bit less familiar with. Her name is Maddalena Lombardini. And when thinking about this anniversary and about Nano Nagel, they seemed like a very good fit. They were both women who kind of struck out and made their own path in life. Um, so Madalena Lombardini was born to re who, people who would have been probably at one point relatively wealthy. She was born in Venice, um, but her parents at the time of her birth were quite impoverished and she was raised in uh, an orphanage, one of the Venetian ospedali, uh, you're probably more familiar with the Ospedale della Pieta, which is where Vivaldi was uh, the music teacher. So she was a prodigy violinist from a very young age. And that was what made her quite unusual. She struck out and created a career for herself as a concert violinist, which for a woman in the 18th century wouldn't have happened all that often. So she published a set of concertos uh, during her touring career, in 1771, and we have just played one of those pieces for you. We played the first one from her Opus 2 set, 1771, uh, which is a concerto in B-flat. Um, and we thought that the, these two women just seemed to fit very well together. Since we are, I think, in the only museum in Ireland which is dedicated to the story of a woman, it seemed very appropriate to have a woman composer for you tonight. The next piece that we're going to play is a piece that uh, Madalena would have played during her touring career. It's a set of duets that she would have played with her husband, probably uh, Ludovico Sermon, when they were touring Europe uh, professionally in the early 1770s. So this is a duet from her Opus 5. Thank you. 
So if you're familiar with the story of Nana Nagel and with the museum here, you might share my impression that she was quite a self-possessed woman who created her own path in life when it was quite unusual for a woman in the 18th century to do so. And I think Lombardini does a little bit of the same for me. So most of her compatriots in the Ospedali in Venice kind of went two ways. They either married uh, when they came of age and they left the Ospedali or a number of them stayed within the Ospedali and became the next generation of teachers or carried out their performing careers uh, in Venice in the Ospedali. And Lombardini was a little bit different. She got her journeyman's license, her, her maestra license, when she came of age. She did marry. She married another violinist, uh, Ludovico Sermon, and they created this touring career around Europe as a husband and wife duo. You're always looking for a selling point, right? So they, they were the husband and wife duo, and they created these a lot of uh, pieces that they played together, like the duets that you've just heard, or they had quite a famous uh, double violin concerto, which is unfortunately lost to the mists of time. Uh, so the very last piece that we're going to play for you is another one that they might have taken on tour with them. It's another of the Opus 2 concerti that were published in 1771. We're not entirely sure. There's a, there is a chance that they might have made it to Ireland. There's a very early transcription of them for harpsichord, which was by Tommaso Giordani, who later became the director of music at Smock Alley in Dublin. So there is a chance that they made their way here in the 18th century. But we're going to close for you tonight with another of the Opus 2 concerti. It's the number three in A major with soloist uh, Leone Curtin. And just before we play our last piece, I would like to say a huge thank you to everyone here at Nana Nagel Place, to our wonderful film and sound crew, and of course to Cork City Council Arts Office who have supported this series. And of course to you for listening. Thank you very much.
Thank <laughs> you. 